Hey, how's it going, buddy? My name is Sepik. Welcome back to another Sly Cooper video. Now, as you can see, there's something different in the background. There's nothing. Hopefully. Hopefully, everything goes right because the color correction on this camera is better than my old one that I used to have because I've had this green screen for almost a year now, but I haven't been able to use it because my other webcam didn't have the color correction and it didn't recognize this as green. It recognized it as, like, grayish kind of green. So, it didn't work. So, now with this camera, I'll be able to do it. So, let's start episode 5, A Tangled Web. Hmm. I think this is one of my favorite episodes because it's the creepiest one. Alright, let's watch time for a little payback. The Contessa, having escaped us in the prison, is now hiding out in her castle estate. It's a well-fortified, gothic nightmare that would make any thief run in terror. Terrible or not, that's where we're headed. To sweeten the deal, we've learned that the Contessa, who until recently was a secret member of the Claw Gang, is in possession of the Clockwork Eyes. The Thievius Raccoonus describes the Eyes stopping opponents dead in their tracks, transfixed in their gaze. It doesn't take a genius to figure out what an accomplished hypnotist could do with such powerful artifacts. News of the Contessa's corruption has spread to Interpol. Constable Neela, being closest to the case, was granted a cash allowance to hire an army of local mercenaries. It looks like we're walking into a full-scale war. But we have to act now, before things go from bad to worse. <laughs> Bentley. <laughs> Sly Cooper and the gang in a tangled web. It sounded kind of cool. That was pretty good with the throat. I mean, uh, it's still early morning, so you know my throat's like kind of good for this. So it's pretty cool. I like. I love the lighting on the camera. I have no idea why, but it's so much better now. I'm just hoping that the the uh, green screen actually works really well. Okay. So as you know, any Sly Cooper episode that we start in, we find all the bottles. But I'm hoping to make this video long enough to oh whoa, 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 uh okay I'm hoping to make this episode long enough since I have the time for uh, the whole episode uh well the episode in the game so this episode will probably be the whole episode I don't know there's that's a lot of episodes but you'll probably be able to tell because you're watching the video right now oh nice hit man and one more hit like that and I'm done dun 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 Dun, 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 dun. I love the music in this episode as well. It's really good. Alright. So I'm pretty sure there's like... I saw one over there. I'll get it eventually. Yeah, right here's one. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's just a couple bottles in this area. I love the music in this episode. Dun, 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 that's all the episode is. Just you listen to me uh, uh, humming the rhythm of the music. Ooh, you almost got me there. Shavabooey! Alright, that was kind of cool. Alrighty then. And I'm really hoping this episode goes right. There's the bottle. Let's go get it. Oh, okay. Well, another thing uh, with the Sly Cooper ep uh, well, episodes, I kind of like to leave them uncut because, you know, this is like my favorite game and I kind of want to milk it as much as possible because... Uh, you guys probably hear this every single episode since I make them so far apart. I can't remember what I said in the other ones. Uh, I am a sucker for these games, man, so much. I grew up with these. Like this is this is my childhood. And thanks for my brother uh, for actually letting me play this game because uh, whenever we had the PlayStation 2, it was his. So he never let me play any of his games, and so uh, he let me play this one. And now it's my favorite game of all time. Well. I think my second favorite, uh, my second favorite game series is Uncharted, made by Naughty Dog, still a PlayStation exclusive. I guess I have a thing for PlayStation exclusives, because <laughs> this one's a PlayStation exclusive. Well, I mean, you can get it on PC with an emulator, but you know. So guys, uh, if the face cam did work and it's all green screen, tell me what you think of it. Do you like it like this, or do you like it the old way better? 
leave it down in the comments below. Because I know a couple people are only here for uh, the Sly Cooper videos. And thank you for that. Because if, if your uh, childhood was like mine, you know, you... Alright, listen here, Sucker Punch, you're saying zero. I'm going to say this out loud. You all better make a fifth Sly game. And you're going to finish the story right. You're going to have a happy ever after. Or you know what? I'm going to send a hateful letter. <laughs> Alright, so that's 14 bottles. As much as I play these games, you'd think that I would know where all the bottles were right on top of my head, but I don't. <laughs> I always have to go looking for them. I never, I never automatically know where they're at. So if you all want a Sly 5 game, leave a thumbs up. Because I'm pretty sure everybody who grew up with this game wants a fifth game. We need to know how it ends. We can't just have Sly on a... Uh, in the desert just there and then that's the end if you're gonna have a teaser for your fifth game you better come out with it Sly 4 yes I'm gonna play it yes I'm gonna beat it 100% sadly you are gonna see a lot of rage but I it's a pretty good game I mean 7 out of 10 Sly 2 10 out of 10 because this is the first one that I play usually the first uh, game of the series that you play is usually the best one for you <laughs> sucker. Okay, okay, so there's two bottles right there. 19. 20. Okay, I'm pretty sure there's a few over here, too. Yeah, I hear it. Let's get this guy, there we go. Oh, we got some health. Alright, that's good, that's good. Here, another bottle, but I forget where it is. Oh, these are the Contessa's uh, things. Oh, I know where it's coming from. At least I'm pretty sure, anyway. Did I get the bottles over here? Did I come over here? No. There's a few bottles over here, too. <laughs> oh, my nose itches. See, there's one. Pretty sure that's it. There's only two bottles here. <laughs> We're gonna go around this guy. There we go. Good job. Hopefully nobody's on the bridge. Ah, there's somebody. All right. All right. There's a bottle over there. Did he just drown? No. Oh dear. Get out of the. Oh no! You just knocked me into the water. Oh, come on, get out of here. There we go, there we go. Just run, just run, just run. Just run, Sly. Alright, good job, Sly. And... Bam. Oh, I hear a bottle. Where is it? Oh, it's right there. I can see it. 25. I know where a few are, but I don't know where the all of them are. I've already taken you down once, but I'll take you down again because you respawned, you know. The huge. Oh, I hear them clanking. If you don't have headphones on, you probably don't hear it as well as I do. But I have really good headphones on. That's a cool view. I hear another bottle. And I ain't complaining. Alright, two more bottles left. Pretty sure they're on top of like these thingies, because I haven't got a whole bunch of those. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, oh, camera glitch, camera glitch. Just kinda knock you off there. Where are they at? Alright, we need to find these bottles. I hear one. I don't know where from, though. Oh, I think I know. I think it's on top of uh, this thing. I hear two of them. I hear both of them. Oh, there's the one.
Ah, oh, there it is. Yep. Alright, we found all the bottles. Time to start the first mission. That's what's so tedious about it. I mean, I love the bottles, but... Eh, the fourth game, they're really hard to find. Like, I mean, like, really, really hard to find. The third game doesn't have them. They have challenges, and that's what I don't like about it. Boom, 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 boom. Dun, 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 dun. All right, let's go do the first mission. What's it called? What's it called? What's it called? Know your enemy. Okay, here's the plan. First, take some recon photos around the area. Then make your way up to the re-education tower. Looks pleasant enough. Oh, and stay clear of tanks. You know, so you don't get blown up into little sticky pieces. <laughs> Thanks, Bentley. Just the confidence boost I needed. The Contessa has these boats out on patrol against Nayla's army. They could be useful to hitch a ride. Could. Could. All right, there's the blimp. We can take a picture of that. Bam. That's the blimp the Contessa used to escape from the prison. Maybe we could use it to our advantage around all these high towers. Good point. Good point. Oh, that tank saw me. All right, what's the closest one? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let's kind of go around the tanks, you know. All right, we gotta hurry up and take this quick one. I think a tank saw us on the left. It's a pretty secure location. It'll take some doing to drive her out. Yep, it's on me. All right, just run, just run. Whoa. I should have a hum counter. See how many times I hum during this episode. Doesn't mean the soundtrack to this game is so good. It's just, uh. Bam. Alright, we got it. Before we got hit. Whoa, dude. All right, I'm going to a Bentley. Oh, how'd you see me? The door is locked from the inside. Try working your way around to the tower's window. Yeah, I'm going, I'm going. Right there, bam. There's more than just the clockwork eyes up here. Why are you doing this? Neela! She set me up. I'm an honest cop. Of course you are. I've read your psychological profile. I know that you're honest. Then why are you doing this to me? Because, dear, you're honest. You see, by chasing after Sly Cooper, you learned too much about the claw gun and its spice operation. It was only a matter of time before you figured out that I was a secret member. So, when Neela gave me a chance to put you in custody, I took it. Coward. You're a disgrace to Interpol. I'll make it my life's work to destroy you. Oh, I'm afraid your life, let alone your life's work, isn't going to last much longer. Once <laughs> I integrate the clockwork eyes into this device, your life's work will be whatever I tell you. I won't be brainwashed that easily. Quite right. It won't be easy. Or painless. But I will reprogram your mind, and you will take the fall for me at Interpol. Now, just stay back and relax. Go to your happy place. And stay there forever. forever. I don't think they've seen you. Take a few photos and get out of there. No. Gotta help Carmelita. She's in trouble here. There's nothing you can do now. Get the recon photos and come back to the safe house. I swear we'll find a way to help her. 
Interesting. Inspector Fox is restrained in an old Iron Tech 250. Crude, but effective. Decent. All right, clockwork eyes. The clockwork eyes. They seem to be routed through that control board. Get a shot of the console so I can decipher its make. Those are the Contessa's elite shadow guard. Tough is too sissy a word to describe those guys. Mind shuffler. That's, that's a mind shuffler. I didn't think they were real. It's made of equal parts science and black magic. Indestructible to conventional weapons. All right, let's take a picture of this. This is the old terminal. That old terminal should be hardwired to the systems in this tower. We need to find a way to get it online. All right, head back to the safe house and we'll get a plan together. <laughs> the war between Neela and the Contessa has put the castle on high alert. To get at the clockwork eyes, we'll need to subtly manipulate this conflict to our advantage. Here's the plan. Murray, sneak into the castle and kidnap the head of security. I want to ask him a few questions. Decent. Meanwhile, Sly and I are going to get a little paranormal. I'll slip into the crypts beneath the castle and put together a bad mojo bomb. It should be enough to destroy the mind shuffler. Sly, you capture a few local ghosts and drop them into Neela's headquarters. Hopefully the near-death experience will inspire her to purchase more mercenary firepower. We've all got our assignments. Good thoughts. Good luck. Okay. I know I said earlier that I was going to do a longer video, maybe the whole episode, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. So, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to like button. Also, make sure to subscribe. It'll help me out a lot. And I will see you all in the next video.